Okay, I know it's not everyone who's cut out for entrepreneurship. Some years ago, entrepreneurship was not so necessary or mandatory because there were so many jobs, and at the time, jobs were valuable. The people who chose the path of entrepreneurship were often crazy individuals who just felt they couldn't live with the status quo, although things were a bit comfortable back then. Today, almost every Tom, Dick, and Lemming wants to start a business. I dare say this is wrong, even though it would seem like it is the best solution for our teeming unemployment problem. Unless you are comfortable with rebelling against the status quo, unless you thoroughly and unrepentantly despise the normal, unless you are never willing to give up your freedom for 9 to 5, no matter what it takes, don't bother yourself with entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship isn't for everyone. You see, in this situation, it is good to know yourself and what you are made for. It's not a sin if you are configured to be an employee. You'll excel only in that area if you are. I do not claim to be an entrepreneur myself. Although I write a lot about entrepreneurship, I work best as a second person, the guy who takes your idea and expands it. So yes, I couldn't label myself as an entrepreneur. But if you're aspiring to become an entrepreneur, as a young person, if you want to join the group of rebellious people who despise the thought of giving their freedom for someone or for some 9 to 5, come what may, then here are three very important decisions you must take. 1. Decide you will learn all you can about entrepreneurship and how money works. Like I said earlier, I couldn't possibly call myself an entrepreneur because I function best as a second person, the one who works with the leader to expand his ideas or business. But regardless, I have spent time and still spend time reading lots of books in the world of business and other fields. The reason is because I want to learn how businesses, entrepreneurship and money works. To date, I am yet to see any serious entrepreneur who is repeatedly successful, who doesn't read lots and lots of books. The reason is simple. Learning increases your earning ability. The more you learn, the more you earn. And also, entrepreneurs who are always learning will always know what others don't know. I have worked with people who don't know crap about the business they are doing, and I observe them. I know they will soon go out of business, and too often, they do. This is simple logic. You can tell a man's end by the decisions he makes. The future is so unrealistic and unpredictable that only smart entrepreneurs are able to figure out what the future holds and are often right. Some years ago, it was unimportant to really focus your business on the internet, but now, with the sudden change in the way the world does business due to COVID-19, millions of businesses are coming online and more than ever, entrepreneurs who apply proactive measures at the time are now enjoying the fruit of their labor. You may not seem wise before others when you invest a copious amount of hours studying and learning new things from books and other relevant materials in the world of entrepreneurship and money. But time will tell who is smart and who is foolish when your positive results begin to show for themselves. 2. Decide you will always start with what you have. If there is one mistake I have failed to make on my life, it is waiting to have all I need before I start. I hate to wait. I hate to think that goals cannot be pursued because I don't know everything I need. I firmly believe that if you start with what you have, with full faith that you will succeed, doing all you can, oftentimes, everything you need to succeed will come to you. One of the most foolish things I have seen young people do is tell you about their beautiful plans and then after asking them when they intend to start, they'll let you know when they have bought some very expensive gadgets or own some very expensive office space. That's foolish. I believe if a person is serious about his dream, he will find a simple way to get started doing it. For example, this may be funny, but if a young person aspires to become a notable and successful photographer but cannot afford an expensive camera, what's stopping him from starting with a smartphone? Now that seems funny, but there are smartphones with high camera resolutions that could take near excellent pictures and if a young entrepreneur photographer starts from there, he could make and save up enough money to buy a better camera. But he always wants everything before he starts. It's foolish and most times it won't always happen. If you can start with what you have, don't stress yourself wanting to thread the path of entrepreneurship. I believe so much in branding and how you present yourself in business, but some folks can be so focused on aesthetics and exquisiteness that they never move an inch towards their dream. I know someone who is so detailed about aesthetics and exquisiteness in business, but is usually broke. And I know another person who doesn't even care much about aesthetics and exquisiteness, but who starts successful businesses all the time. Start with what you have. If your plan is to run a business, what matters is running a business. When you start to earn, you can reinvest your earnings into your business to make it grow, but start with what you have. 3. Decide you will never give up or lose focus until you succeed. Not everyone can do this. You can decide you're in this for the long haul or that you will give up along the way. Entrepreneurship, as I know it to be, is a lonely journey. There will be good days, 
there will be bad days. For the most part, most young entrepreneurs experience the bad days when they are just starting out. This is why roughly 4 out of 10 individuals who start businesses make it through to success. Entrepreneurship isn't a pathway to quick success. You won't succeed overnight. As a matter of fact, I got into business immediately after my graduation from the university and hoped to succeed in two years. I have never experienced such tough years before in my life. I was dirt broke most of the time and made a whole lot of mistakes to fill a blank. So, if you're planning to become an entrepreneur, know that you won't succeed overnight. Thus, be willing to go the long haul, be willing to put in the long hours, week in, week out, without an ounce of success at the beginning. Entrepreneurship is about never giving up. Successful entrepreneurs know this right from the start. So, when they are faced with challenges, they don't quit easily along the way. Decide if you would be willing to persist and never lose focus as you journey on this path of entrepreneurship. If you are comfortable with failure, loneliness, rejection, loss and will still persist until you succeed, welcome to the world of entrepreneurship. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.